guys, I'm Mia D. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to carve a pumpkin and I'm going to teach you guys why we actually do this. It's really interesting because there are so many things in our history and so many things that we do now that actually turns out to have like a real root. It has something to do with something that happened hundreds and thousands of years ago and nobody ever really thinks about it or no one ever really knows about it. So in Celtic traditions, what they used to do is they would carve something called a gourd. Gourds are these sexy motherfuckers right here. This thing is a gourd. And what they would do is carve the gourds on Halloween. So Halloween is a day when the veil between the two worlds of the underworld and Middle Earth is thin and a lot of different spirits are able to come to Earth. So the thing is that evil and good spirits alike are able to come. So what people used to do, at least in old Celtic traditions, was they would carve faces, symbols into gourds and that would ward off the evil spirits. So that actually is carried on in traditions of Halloween today where we carve pumpkins and we carve really awesome things into pumpkins. So what's also interesting is gourds are also one of the symbols of one of the eight immortals in the Taoist traditions. And it's interesting because it symbolizes the release from the mortal world. Because this immortal Taoist, Li Tai Gao, was actually able to release himself from the mortal world, release himself from his body. So therefore the gourd itself, his emblem, actually signified the release from the mortal world. It's interesting because that's also kind of like what Halloween symbolizes and also the, the fact that the spirits are able to come to this world. So it's, it's interesting that these two different religions also come together uh, with gourds in general. Uh, this one symbol of of the gourd actually symbolizes the same thing in two separate religions. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to carve this tiny little pumpkin, this really adorable pumpkin, I'm going to carve a symbol into this pumpkin. So I'm going to carve the pentagram, which is a five-pointed star, and it's also one of the most powerful symbols of paganism, and it symbolizes power. I'm going to explain a little bit more about pentagrams and symbols and stuff like that a little later, but for now, I'm going to paint this bad boy. I've never actually carved a pumpkin before because a lot of the times when I want to, my friends or somebody that someone's busy, some people think it's a little lame, like nobody really wants to do it, so I'm like, you know what? Screw that. I'm going to do it myself on my own because screw what everybody else wants, screw what everybody else thinks, I don't care if it's lame, I like it, I think it's awesome and it's got a really interesting back history and backstory and to it. And um, yeah, my art school days are starting to come back. I got some of my tools, I got my, my nifty sharpie, I have this knife and this knife, hopefully they actually work. My boyfriend's all, oh their knives are never sharp enough. I don't really like sharp things in my house and I mean they sound pretty sharp to me so screw that. First I'm going to start off with drawing the pentagram and it's just a five pointed star so it's very simple. Let's get a non yucky part. So this. Oops, all right, I already screwed up. Let's start again. Okay, that looks great, right? <laughs> this looks so good. So something else to actually note is there are two different symbols for stars. There's a pentacle and the pentagram. The pentacle is actually a five-pointed star with a circle around it, and the circle symbolizes eternity. Pentagram symbolizing power, and the pentacle with the circle around it symbolizing power for eternity, eternal power. Now that I've drawn it, I'm going to start carving and we are going to test out my knives ability. I'm going to start off with the star itself because that's going to be in the very, very middle um, and keeping the knife away from myself so that I don't cut myself. I'm going to take this off. Uh, let's see. So, see this knife is actually, ugh, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad, okay? It's sharp, damn it. Oh my god, it actually worked! Oh my god, yes! Okay, alright, so I'm just gonna make a star! Yeah! Let's do that, and maybe I'll just paint on the other part, because you see what I just did? I am almost about to destroy my pentacle. So I'm just gonna paint this, and hope that my pumpkin magically glues itself back together with my black paint. So black is actually the color of the underworld, the color of the unknown. Which is why a lot of people during their Halloween rituals, we have the suspicion that all these spirits come, so therefore we paint things the color black because it's the color of the unknown. 
So my black paint actually is completely hardened. So I am going to see if I can use something else. I do have this black oil paint. So let's try this out. And let's paint this sucker. Ooh, it's actually working. my pentagram star and I'm gonna light it up and oh well I'm gonna use a fake tea candle I'm gonna use an LED tea candle to light this because I did use oil paint please guys show me all of your awesome awesome Halloween crafts and things like that if you'd like and please subscribe thanks my hands are black oh. <laughs>